Some say that Nero fiddled while Rome burned. I prefer my Neros with Diavola. That was probably one of my worst intros ever, just stay tuned. Before I go into the review, remember to subscribe to the channel and to click that notifications bell so you can see when more Wine on the Dime videos are posted. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. So today, after that horrible, horrible intro, I'm going to re be reviewing the 2015 Leotro Nero Diavola. It's from Italy, it is 13% alcohol by volume, and I paid $11, $12 for it at my local grocery store ACB. So no screw top, so I put one of my Haley Squawkers on. And let's take a look at this. All right, so from a color standpoint, my stars, you have garnet. You are gonna give you a, you are a medium garnet. It's been a while since I've had a garnet wine, but you know what? It's not been a long time since I've had some cork. Uh, other than the cork, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, from no standpoint, <laughs> you smell nothing like the wine I tried yesterday. Woo. It's not bad. It's just, it's just totally different. So getting large amounts of vanilla in here, a little bit of dark chocolate, some black cherry, a little bit of plum, maybe some blackberry. Very dark fruit on this one. A hint of chocolate. I mean, this is, and I'm getting a little bit of spiciness to this. So it's like some cinnamon and black pepper, like a slight herbal note, definitely getting some soil. This is, this is, for, the, for what I normally get, this has a lot of depth to it. It actually smells like it's, it's gonna sound weird. It smells like it's going to be a full-bodied wine in terms of like the flavor and everything that, that comes into it. Um, got some decent legs on it, so let's do a taste. In terms of acid, I'm gonna give you a medium on the acid. Tannins are actually relatively low. I'm gonna give you about medium on the tannins. Honestly, I expected more acid from an Italian wine. Not gonna lie, I expected more acid, but you have a ton of fruit flavor. And it's like, this almost like, aged, almost like raisiny type effect. So if you were to like slightly dry out those, all those fruits I mentioned earlier, like those plums, that black cherry, like that's the type of stuff, like if you dried it out and then made a wine into it, you're kind of getting that effect. It's almost more like a, instead of like a plum, it's more almost like a little bit, slightly like a prune effect going on with it. Definitely getting that vanilla. That vanilla is actually reasonably strong. Kind of pruny. But it's not, it's, it's not overpowering though, because the acid kind of kicks in and prevents it from being, from being just like overly pruny. I, I, it's kind of hard to explain unless you try it. Um, on that note, I'm gonna give it a good. It's not a bad wine. I prefer more acid, and I would prefer a longer finish. This has about a medium finish on it. Um, it's a lighter body than I thought it would be, as a matter of fact. I thought it would be more of like a full body. I'm giving it a medium body but it's not a bad wine. This this wine is, is, is a little bit different. It's a little bit more kind of unusual compared to what you're gonna have on your normal red wines that we'd get from America or even some of the other old world places. Um, I kind of equate it to, you're fighting Mike Tyson and uh, then you get sucker punched by Evander Holyfield. Like that's, that, that's how you're going to have this wine hit you from the nose, from the palate, and from the nose, you're kind of like, oh wait, I see this punch coming. And then when you taste it, that's when you get like, boom, from behind. It's just, you you, didn't, you never could see it coming. But it's not a bad wine at all. So I'm gonna give you good. And um, if you're still here after me ranting about getting sucker punched by Evander Holyfield, then um, you really do need to subscribe because that means you're gonna really like the other types of content I make. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried the Leo Tro? Nero Diavella. I know I probably like screwed up that name, but I suck at pronunciation and you all know that by now. So if you have, leave a comment below. If you haven't and you think you know a better wine, definitely leave a comment below because I want to go see if I can find it. And I will see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.